We are in Mallorca, Spain. We're here for the weekend to look at wedding venues. We flew in from Sweden this morning, uh, left a pretty cold Sweden behind, and now we're in this beautiful Spanish weather. We just had lunch. We had some gambas and salad and so on. Lamb chops, yeah. and patatas we're, bravas. Where are we headed now? We are heading to the first wedding venue. Uh, this is the place that we're really excited to look at. So hopefully it's just as good as pictures. So Julie, this is where you think the reception would be? Explain a little bit. Uh, no, this is where the uh, ceremony will be. Okay, so ceremony's here. Ceremony here. And you have the view of Palma. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this would be like the plan B in case it rains. So you would do the dinner here, and then in this room you would do the dance floor. This room that we're in now at one time was a stable back when this was a functioning uh, finca or farm. And this is where the after party and discotheque would likely be. Um, one cool thing is to check out this old fireplace. So this is a massive fireplace that used to keep all the animals warm. And um, yeah, this is where the after party after the dinner will be held. I think this is my favorite room in the whole finca. This is the old uh, room where they press and make olive oil. So this big contraption here, uh, you would put a pile of olives down in here. So imagine this is this basket is filled up with olives. Then you'd have four people come around and crank this screw, and it would press this lever down and juice the oil out of the olives. And you can just imagine, I don't know, it's just so authentic. It, it feels like you're in like a Disneyland set or like a movie like set. Like Game of Thrones or something. Authentic. Yeah, it, it's completely authentic and it's, uh, it's crazy that places like this actually exist, you know. Yeah, you, still you to this about, day. You see them in a magazine or something, but then to see them, it's just like, it's so beautiful. I love it. So this is where the, dinner would be, or what do you call it, the reception? Reception, I'm not really yeah. up to date on my wedding terms, but so the, the ceremony would be out there and then you, we would come in here and have the, the reception in this courtyard lit up with all the lights, candles. Lights in the trees. Yeah, um, and it can fit about 150-ish people out here. And uh, Wanya was telling me that they do, like they film car commercials and stuff in here because it's so beautiful. and. Yeah, it's even more beautiful in real life than it is in the pictures. Yeah, and all these beautiful flowers. And we're still early in spring, so these will obviously be super bloomed. So this is where the guest entrance would be. This is where people would walk in. So the parking would be here. And then the guests would walk in to here. So this is the parking lot, this is where the guests would come in and then they would walk in here into a little water station. Yeah, and then, then they come in this way and out on the courtyard. Yeah. We just checked out one of the venues and now we're looking at some hotels for all the guests to stay at. Just going around to hotels and seeing what sort of group uh, rate we can get for large parties. And this hotel is called Esport and we're checking it out. Looks pretty cool. Looks super cool. The man at the front desk of our hotel said today was a special day in Majorca. The legend goes that when Majorca was founded, a prince came to the island and killed a dragon, and out of the dragon came a rose. 
the prince took the rose and gave it to a princess, and in return, the princess gave the prince a book. So all of the men here in Mallorca today buy roses for the women, and all of the women buy books for the men. So there's book stalls all around the city squares and people selling roses. Um, and now Julia wants a rose, of course. Of course but I, I do. I want my book. I get but, you your uh, book. It's an interesting legend, and I want to do some more research on it when we get back. Would you say that you like Ibiza or Mallorca better? Mm, that's a tough one. I mean, I love the nightlife in on Ibiza, but here it's just so picturesque and beautiful, yeah. like cathedrals and like beautiful churches and I, Ibiza. I kind of, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know, like a mix of both, I would say. Yeah, I kind of like the grunginess of Ibiza, but yeah. uh, this is really, this old town is just beautiful. Yeah. But Ibiza so also is old town, but I think this one, Ibiza is more like white, like like yeah, like, uh, like Greece, Greece almost. Yeah. This is more, you know, like the the yellow brick, like the old. Yeah. You can't go wrong with either. No, I love both. Yeah. Day two in Mallorca. We are in Palma. Just had breakfast. We're gonna walk around the city and check out some hotels uh, that guests can stay at when they're here for our wedding. Then we're gonna check out another venue in the center of the island, and then after that, we're gonna. <laughs> Go check out some beaches. Yep. So uh, quite a day planned today and then tomorrow we just have a chill day before we fly back to Sweden. Beach day. Beach day. Okay, so we are at another hotel checking out this one. It's in the middle of Palma. It's really nice, like a little boutique hotel. Has really great views. This is uh, the rooftop bar. <laughs> and down here you can see like little yeah. rooms and stuff. Really cool to see the really view. Really nice. There. It was a pretty small hotel though, so it can't fit everyone. One of our favorite things to do when we're traveling is get up super early and beat the crowds and just walk around the old cities and come across buildings like this. Gabriel from Alayar in the heart of Mallorca and close to Senseyes and we're here in our little agroturismo. What's the name? Do you have, have no name. names? No. She's, she's uh, called Gloria, the mother. Gloria? Gloria. Take a picture yeah. of your phone. And then, uh, that's my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is the courtyard of Alayar. Exactly. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so it's exactly what, you, what we said before, like what we picture Mallorca to be like, you know, like this quintessential farm, farmhouse is so beautiful. Wow. Right off the vine. Right off the vine. We are sitting in the courtyard of beautiful Alayer. It's one of the venues that we're uh, checking out. And we just had some wine, some almonds, some manchego cheese. Uh, with the owner and just sitting in this beautiful courtyard enjoying the sun. Check out this courtyard. How beautiful is this? It's incredible. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Some wine, olives, all local. Favorite water. Everything you need. Okay, so we just finished our second wedding venue location scouting and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, the owner is a German guy, his name is Gabriel, he lives there with his family and it was just absolutely breathtaking. He, he's living the quintessential Mallorcan life, his kids are running around the garden like Eating picking fresh, fresh apples yeah. off the tree and biting them. There's lambs and chickens running around. and. We're actually out in the countryside here, so we're away from the beach. It was absolutely breathtaking. It was so beautiful. Yeah. Um, so we have some 
thinking to do for sure.